so I don't forget. Well, thank you everybody for coming tonight. Uh, we have an incredible call uh, with the uh, women of Vox Life tonight. Um, this is a group that uh, uh, many women have put together over the last <coughs> years. And sorry, I somebody is, I'm gonna have to mute everybody. <coughs> Um, just bear with me until I can get. Somebody. Hey, Paul, if you want to make yeah. me co-host and I can look after muting people. If you'd oh, like. sure. Sure, buddy. I was looking for you there earlier. And then when you have music on and all the different screens. <laughs> <laughs> hear there you. we go. Mate, there we go. So you okay, should be perfect. there now. Okay, awesome. So yeah, we really appreciate everyone coming on here. Um, I want to get this also on the recording. We were just talking just briefly before this is. Um, I went in the testimonials group and I actually just looked at, you know, how many uh, people are, are women and men. And I didn't even mean to see it. I just was kind of going into the back kind of stats on the group to see the growth and how many members and all that. And I came across an interesting stat that it's 84% women in the Vox Life testimonials group. Uh, congratulations. Um, you guys are obviously the fuel uh, that, you know, um, lights the fire here. Yeah. And, you know, we have a, a ton of work to do to help more and more people. Um, I don't want to take a lot of time. I just, I really want to just, you know, roll this over to, um, you know, the, the ladies that uh, are going to be speaking tonight and, and sort of explaining what they've been, uh, they've been doing. They have this peace patch project. I know nothing about this. I'm excited. Uh, it's, it's nice to, you know, hear from other people and what's happening and what they're doing. And uh, we, we certainly appreciate that. So Candy Scott from Calgary, um, we have Lori uh, from Brantford, and I've forgotten where Tracy is from, but I believe it's close to the office. But um, anyways, guys, thanks so much for coming on. You should be able to unmute yourself. And uh, if you guys just want to roll with this and, and explain what's going on and 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 what's happening, and, and that would be awesome. Okay, well, I'll do the, the intros if, um, if I may, Paul. And I'd like 100%. to thank you and Terry for all the work that you guys do, because it's kind of a, a mutual admiration society. I think you guys are amazing. And when I think back to all the years that, you know, we've put in together locking arms and bringing this technology to the masses, I, I have to smile. We've had laughs, we've had tears, we've had fury, we've had excitement. It's kind of a mixed bag, but it certainly has been a rich experience and it's been a growing experience. And the Women of Vox Life is just a little um, safe space for the ladies to kind of come together and to share ideas. And ladies like to come around each other and kind of nurture each other. And uh, so there's not really a, a, a competitive edge to the ladies group at all. It's just a kind of soft landing sort of place. We talk once a week on a Zoom call and um, we really find that uh, it, it's a place of encouragement and inspiration. And um, so Candy, I've been after her for years to, um, you know, bring what she has to the table. And I've always admired Candy and Tracy and, and all of the ladies, really. They all have something um, special about them that uh, contributes to the mission. So Candy had this brainchild called the Peace Patch Project. And it just really resonated. Um, there's a, a, a lot of bits to the to the Peace Pass Patch project, but very simply, it, it was an invitation for people to try the Peace Patch and then share what, what happened with it. And so I'm gonna turn it over to Candy and then um, Tracy Lalonde is gonna offer some of her thoughts and experiences with this initiative that we came up with to just get engagement and, and really to get experience and stories with with how this particular piece of technology is working for us in the context of a very stressful world. So are you there, Candy? Here, Lori, I'm here. <clears throat> Excellent. Good evening, everyone. How lovely to see so many happy, smiling, familiar faces. Yes. And I just want to take a special moment. I have a new associate who's joined us here on Team Vaccination tonight for the first time brand new associate, so hello to Susan Simmons. And I was fortunate enough to have a guest reach out, uh, Patty Eady, I just wanna say hello to you. And she, we've been following each other on Facebook for years and uh, it, I was so appreciative when she noted my post and reached out and said, hey, I think I'd like to know more. So it's, it's really cool to have you both here and, and everyone, all you familiar faces. So yeah, that's, you know, the, 
the Peace Patch Project. It was the seed of an idea that grew because uh, lots of people talk about comfort zones and how you should get out of them. And I have a slightly different opinion and Women of Vox Life has provided that space for us. I have often thought that a comfort zone is the place to nurture and grow yourself. And I'm a big believer in not necessarily breaking down the fences or jumping over them. I'm a big believer in when the plants or the women or we've flourished and we've grown so much, all we need to do is move our fences back. So our comfort zone can also be a growth zone. And when it comes to stress, if you're not, if you're not comfortable in your comfort zone, how on earth are you going to jump out of that and accomplish anything else? So that's where the Women of Vox Life has just been a, a real special place, a real special place for people. And we've seen them. Thank you, Lori, for, for inviting me to, to do more here. And I said to you once that if ever I felt like I had something important that I wanted to share, I would speak up. And I and this one really resonated with me. So chronic stress was definitely an experience in my life. So the inception of the peace patch um, resonated with me so deeply. So just for the, the new ones who don't maybe know my backstory a little bit, I guess I'm a little bit of a veteran in Vox life. I've been here for one, one month shy of, of six years. Um, so I guess that makes me a veteran. I qualify for my old age pension. So that makes me a senior in something. So um, I started January, 2017. My state of mind and physical reality at that time was chronic pain, deep sadness and chronic stress. Life changed when I was introduced and committed to using the Vox Life technology uh, every day. I want to thank Kevy Brander for, for bringing me on board. Uh, Brenna Bovere, Sandy, Sandy Dolan, uh, you ladies were also instrumental in, in getting that seed uh, nourished and planted. So um, committing to this technology wasn't hard. It was the easiest, simply the easiest lifestyle change I'd ever made. It was very affordable uh, when in comparison to the amount that I had spent on other modalities and therapy, therapies and things to try and, and mitigate uh, and, and manage my health in a way. I knew there could be more, I knew there could be more. So it was safe, it was drug-free, it worked. And I have looked forward to every advancement in this technology eagerly. Every time Jay says, I've got a surprise for you, it's just like, whoa, I can't wait, I can't wait. And, and we know there's gonna be more. Like it's just hang on to your hats. Uh, don't get comfortable because there is going to, this is the one place that that it's okay to jump over the fence and embrace that eagerly because you know Jay is coming up with great, great things. So at the point um, where I was in 2017, as Lori Dawson would say, it was not my mess, but it was the launch point to my success. So with neurotechnology, I experienced pain relief, vitality, mobility, balance, strength, functional well-being. In emotional resilience, that's a big thing. I discontinued the mega doses of over-the-counter pain meds and uh, some of the prescription pain meds that I had to take to manage pain in my life. So my body and mind were both vastly improved and that was important to me as stress at that time was the thief of joy. And my cognitive fun function had been declining. Stress too is the thief of cognitive function. And I think that's something that... Uh, you know, just looking around at the crowd here, there's there's a lot of us over 40 and, and even more over that. So that's something we want to pay attention to. And my transformation continues. So today I'm enjoying life fully thanks to my commitment to wearing the tech consistently. I'm healthy, I'm mobile, I'm happy, I'm grateful for all the functional improvements. There are things to be managed for sure, but everything I do is just easier with this tech as a full-time aid in my life. So... I had also recovered in record time from a second knee replacement using our technology. And my knee replacement was um, done at about the time the joint replacement study was being wrapped up in Toronto. So I'd been in conversations with Ron Hoover and like I was excited for that. And I was interviewed by Dr. Debrincat about my experience for one of the, 
the practitioner calls and it, it mirrored exactly what was happening in the, in the knee study. So when that came out, I went, ah, been there, done that guys already know <laughs> this week about this made and it's going to be great. Um, so how do I know it was a record recovery? Because my first one was in 2014 and, um, I didn't have Vox Life then. I did not have it. So the difference in the time of recovery, mobility and pain control was absolutely astonishing. So that's why I get excited about each new iteration of tech. And in August of 22, now we get the super patches, the latest evolution in the tactile and targeted neural technology. So of course we'd, we'd had Defend and, and um, Harmony and some of the others. But this was like a big deal. Eight, now nine new technologies and more on the way. So much to be excited about. So, um, and we'd already reached 6 million people. I think it's almost 6 million people with socks and insoles. And now here we have more. It's like, oh my gosh, this is, this is so exciting. But when my super patch launch pack of patches arrived and I opened up that colorful pack, I think that was the moment the seed of the idea for my peace patches, like this beautiful, beautiful blue package just spoke to me of, of calm and ease. And I wasn't in a place where I wasn't calm and easeful. I was actually in a really happy place. So you might wonder, you know, why would I be the least bit interested in, in working with a patch for stress when I was actually in a pretty good place? So we know the demands of the modern day lifestyle has increased exponentially and for many it's having serious health impacts and a simple Google search kind of scare yourself. The impacts of stress is an eye opener. And so I immediately started wearing a peace patch daily because I got curious. I wasn't in the chronic stress place. I wasn't in the worst stressful place I'd ever been in my life. And I was curious about what kind of healing could happen if I was wearing it when I was in the good place, what if I was in the good place? What could happen? I didn't know if it could or not. Jay hasn't actually given us a presentation on the peace patch, and I'm sure one's coming. This was just my own curiosity and you know previous experience with the tech. So I immediately started wearing the peace patch <clears throat> as my own personal stress mitigation experiment, and I saw significant changes almost immediately. Now, to be clear, I have added the other patches flow and focus as well, because really, why not? There's just no reason not to. <clears throat> but that's a story for another time. My default response in situations, conversations that are stressful or emotionally charged or difficult is tears, especially doctor's offices, <clears throat> even when it's ordinary things like good news. And in those crucial conversations that are required to sort out familial or business misunderstandings, a weeping mess. It was, it was just the way I, I would go. I was so frustrated by that as I wanted to be able to communicate my message with clarity and calmness. I knew I had the intelligence and the words to do it, but my ability to communicate calmly was always hijacked by my brain. With therapy and other trauma release modalities, I understood why during times of chronic stress, the pattern had developed. There was roots in this as far back as elementary school um, and continued chronic stress during our, our son's cancer journey and death just made it worse. My mother's dementia diagnosis, again, another source of chronic stress. And I know something that many of you are going through as well. And even though I was in a happy, healthy frame of mind, it was my brain's default response. I swear to you, that changed within days of wearing the patch. There were a couple of things that I noticed earlier. There was just a kind of a whoosh, a sense of grounding and a kind of, oh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. And I know those feelings because I've trained as a yoga teacher. I've done a lot of meditation. I know about the physical things that I can do to bring my body to that place of peace. It doesn't it doesn't sustain. I can't sit and meditate all day long. I can always take a deep breath, always take a deep breath, and that will bring us, bring us back. So knowing that, I knew what the patch was doing for me. And I found that my disrupted sleep 
was improving. Now I'm a REM patch user, have been since the beginning, absolutely 100% believe in that technology. Although it doesn't put me to sleep, it definitely improves my quality of sleep. The sleep I do get is, is significantly better. So, but the fact that the peace patch was allowing my mind to go calm, there wasn't this yatter, yatter, yatter that was keeping me awake. That was a pleasant surprise as well. So how did I know that it improved my response to difficult situations? A rather inconsequential familial misunderstanding came up and as I heard it, to my great surprise, I was astonished at my newfound composure and clarity. No tears welling up, no defensiveness, no self-recriminations. I was able to listen calmly, to communicate my response, my needs, my boundaries, and the other party was able to communi communicate their concerns more effectively than was previously possible with me being the weeping mom standing there. So that misunderstanding resolved easily and without that post-situational self-recriminations I usually experienced. I wish I'd said that, I wish I'd done this, you know, this kind of thing. It just didn't happen. And as I drove out of the yard that day, not in anger, I just had to go do another errand, I remember thinking to myself, wow, that was different. That was different. And I looked down at the peace patch that was on my arm and I reached down and I touched it and I went, was that you? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> and that's, I just recognized it. I, I knew in that moment. Another um, recent awareness for me in my studies on stress is um, that its impact uh, can affect uh, the behavior called people pleasing, that can be a stress response. Maybe some of us aren't really just all nice people. Maybe there's a stress response in there that actually is about people pleasing because we're afraid of recriminations or judgment or that kind of thing. So there is a marked difference between people pleasing and acts of service. And it's helpful for all parties and healthy for all relationships to understand that difference. I'm a nice person. I want to do nice things for people, but doing things without appropriate thought for boundaries adds to chronic stress. So with the peace patch, I've found myself able to make more thoughtful choices, more thoughtful answers. When I say no, it's because it's been well thought out. Um, and when I say yes, it's been well thought out. So that has been incredibly freeing as well. So I was excited as I'm noticing these things that have happened quickly. Um, I was texting madly with my Vox buddies. I've got Marvel and Teresa here tonight and we're doing, we're just burning up the phone lines and then there's Lori and Tracy and what's happening with you. And there was just this ongoing amount of conversation happening. And then there was these ongoing reminders to have you got your peace patch on today? You know, as the conversations were, no, I don't, I should put it on or maybe I should put two on. So, you know, together we were learning about what's possible with this. And I just, I wanted to expand that. I felt like we needed to expand it. Our testimonials group, I'm sure you find as helpful as I do. And we needed to be able to contribute some stories about this, this amazing new technology that people could, could connect with and could understand how it might be meaningful in their own lives. So that's kind of where the the idea of, well, let's get more people involved. So I began having conversations with my dedicated Vox Life colleagues and, and users. And I mean, so many of you are, are my wonderful cohorts in the Women of Vox Life and, and beyond, but uh, you guys were a really big part of that. And these were people who hadn't really considered using the Peace Patch. They were, you know, doing things, but yeah, I don't, no, I don't really think I need that. Or they were handling it. That was a common, no, no, I, I don't think I need that. I'm, I'm handling it. Oh, I, I, I put it on that one day when I thought it was going to be stressful. And it's like, are you doing it every day? No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm handling it. I was really curious about the initial resistance that some of my friends were expressing just to, to try it. What, what would be a month's worth of trying it? And I thought about that resistance and I thought about how often that shows up when we're presenting our product to new customers. We talk about something they haven't heard before 
And we know it, you've all felt it. There was, oh no, no, I don't need that. No, I'm, I'm pretty balanced. I don't have any pain. And you've seen them walk up with a walker. So I got curious about that resistance. And I, I kind of looked at that and, and I thought, you know, I think if we go back and I talked to my neuroscientist friend, Vicki Smith, and, and I said, what is that? What is that? And, you know, our, our limbic brain and amygdala, it wants to keep us safe. It really does want to keep us safe. And new things may not be safe. They may not be safe. And so oftentimes there's an instant no. There's an instant no, even when it could be the best thing for you. So I think we always want to be cognizant of that in ourselves. How often are we saying no to situations that, you know, are not unsafe, that could be helpful to us? And I've challenged many of my friends to, I call it, check your nose. And it's not like this. It's like, check your nose. Why are you saying no? Is it an automatic response? And could you be saying yes? What, what are you missing saying yes to? So just made my nose that you touch in that. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted them to check their nose. I was curious about their resistance. And so I had discussed with you know, many of these colleagues and friends the circumstances that they were dealing with, that they were handling. And by every standard, they were doing a good job. But my curiosity was still about what's possible. And by not doing something, what was the cost? Was their own mental well-being being impacted over the long term? We spoke of things like sudden losses due to death, PTSD, declining cognitive or physical health in parents, extremely busy work-life balance. We talked of family, relationship issues, school and learning stressors for their children, medical uncertainties, and there's, there's a ton of those charts that you can look up online and start checking off your stressors. I swear it'll scare you. Anyway, they were handling it. Because what choice do we have until the day we can't? But my curiosity remained and my question, how might your mind, your body or mind experience these same scenarios if better regulation of the stress response happened while wearing the peace patch? Could we experience less react reactivity, triggering, conditioned responses, even pain relief? That's a big one. We talked a little bit about on that on the Women of Vox Life call about pain. What if your people aren't having success with the freedom patch? What if their pain is actually in the emotional body? So you, that's you know something you may wanna, wanna think about too. So learned behaviors and, and belief systems, dealing with difficult uh, um, situations. Could we, if we were not so dysregulated in the areas of stress, could, we, could it be different? So I'm a certified relaxation massage therapist. I am trained to recognize changes in a body on, uh, in a body that's under stress. So my work was helping people to find and feel real ease or release in their bodies and minds. So with this knowledge, I met my friends at their place of resistance and I provided some gentle questions about their own awareness of their stress symptoms that I was noticing in their bodies, in their voices, their conversational cues. Like oftentimes we can't see it in ourselves and we need to reach out to other people to help us to be able to see the things that we can't, whether it's therapists, whether it's pastors, whether it's, you know, who, who is the person you can reach out to, to help you see that what that which you are unaware of. As we talked, I could see that a new awareness was dawning on most of them. And as um, Tracy Lalonde brought to us, if we celebrated ourselves first and cared for our own needs, what could that look like in all of our relationships? What if we were calm and clear and less stressed? What ripples could it have in our relationships, familial, business, community? The, you know what it's like when you drop a pebble in the pond and the ripple goes out. And what if you are the pebble and the ripples that you're sending out are ripples of peace and calm? So months of conversation with my co-presenters, Lori and Tracy tonight and, and my Vox buddies, uh, Marvel and Teresa and Debbie and, and many others. So as a collective, we decided with the support of the amazing women of Vox Life, we extended an open invitation to this impromptu associate created field experiment. 
you know, everybody was looking for answers. Well, what does this patch do? And what does that patch do? And how does that work? And truly, there is only one way to find out, and that is to wear it. And my experience will not be your experience, but shared experiences are a body of knowledge that becomes so important as new people come to us and want to learn about things. So we've gathered weekly uh, to share our observations and uh, support one another and continue and expand on an important conversation that I know Lori has really um, embraced with her full heart um, on mental wellness in all aspects of our lives. So the launch and the timing of the Peace Patch project was timely as we officially kicked it off one month ago on November 10th. This is the season of peace on earth and goodwill to all. And we are painfully aware that this season of joy and celebration can be among the most stressful time. It can be equally parts happy and horrible. And if you've experienced loss of any kind, relationship disconnects or health issues, there can be many stressors in this season of peace. And we looked at the peace batch and said, could there be a better time to introduce this to, to our members and to invite the, the rest of our Vox Life family into this? So this project was in the incubation stage as we were kind of learning and, and growing it, but we always knew it was meant to grow and expand. And very quickly, the women of Vox Life were saying, well, what about the men of Vox Life? And there were no rules. We weren't saying, don't put it on them. Please do <laughs> bring them in too. But we were just establishing this little foundation. So the observations and successes that have been pouring in quickly, and now we're excited for these next steps, extending the invitation to all the good people of our super patch and Vox Life communities to experience and share their stories everywhere. On Vox Life testimonials, your social media and connect. Um, you know, with the ladies who've been connecting our stories, we've been using the hashtag, hashtag Peace Patch Project. So I'm, I don't know if there's any rules against that, Paul or Terry, maybe you can tell us whether that's, a, that's an okay, okay thing to do. Um, we are curious to hear all the people of Vox Life share how you might be dealing with the stress in your life as never before, as the Peace Patch creates changes. Do you feel a resistance to giving it a try? If so, ask yourself why and reconsider. It may be more important than you know. Stress affects everyone. Let's understand that in all the ways that we can, bringing peace into our lives. We're also curious about athletes. We're wondering, is a peace patch useful when dealing with performance anxiety, stress, or post-game recovery? Experiences will be our teachers and you are the communicators to the people who will have those experiences. And we look forward to those stories and students and children. We have much to learn from their experiences. We have one beautiful story that was shared on the Women of Vox Life call about before we'd even, it was the day we were gonna launch the project and, and one mom popped in and said how her little guy was having a meltdown. I think it was over a backpack and she, put a peace patch on him and what was it ladies minutes? And he was like calm and I was like, oh my gosh, this should be in every first aid kit and every backpack and every kid in school and seven of them in the teacher's drawer. Maybe more, maybe more. So wondering how would, you know, naturally experiencing improved clarity and calmness work for them on a daily basis? So we're here just to invite one and all to join the Peace Patch Project. We look forward to any and all updates from Jay on this fantastic piece of technology. And I'll leave you with this. I'll spare you the singing, but there's a line from a famous song I wanna leave with you. All we are saying is give peace a chance. How will it look for you? That's it. Take it over my girls. You, you guys have got some great stuff to add to this. So I can't wait to hear from Lori and Tracy. Tracy, go ahead and unmute yourself. I actually shut that down. So I've just sent you a, you can unmute yourself. Too many people were jumping on and I was hearing all this stuff. Sorry guys, there, you should be good, Lori. Thank you so much, Candy, amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to react to something that really causes you to stop and think and what candy did for us tonight was 
invited us to just stop, breathe, and think. So many of us are going at such a pace that we don't are, allow ourselves the liberty of doing that. And by the way, I was one of those ones that said to Candy, I'm good, I'm handling it. <laughs> so I was not gonna throw you under that bus, Lori. <laughs> Full disclosure, that was me. And I'm telling you what, um, it, it was no sooner out of my mouth than did I get opportunities to uh, put the peace patch to the test. And there's not one of us on this call that doesn't have stress of some kind. And I love the idea of you talking to the little blue patch on your arm, Candy. Was that you? Because you talked about that four-year-old tantruming um, inner child of yours that you just had to take for a walk to get some air and um, yeah so this has been fun it's absolutely been fun one of our members of the women of Vox Life uh, told us that she actually got through a day without wanting to throat punch anyone <laughs> that was just <laughs> excellent <laughs> and um, so the gains are or the gains are noticeable whether they're big or whether they're small. Um, but they are there. There's definitely a difference for me. S subtle some days and and massive other days. But, you know, we learned um, at, at Dr. Sylvia's um, information event that adding the peace patch to mitigate the uh, post traumatic stress response um so it, it was a good thing and we did that for my husband with his um rem patch and it made all the difference in the world it was like putting you know the baking soda in uh, the leaven into the the bread so that it would so that it would rise so um yeah we have to play a little bit with the combinations but yeah the foundation of peace is a place that we can all go to and benefit from and not just us personally but those we have relationships with so yes there's no arguing about the application of the peach peace patch in this house anymore because we both felt the impact of it so tracy what do you have to add my love she can't unmute help her somebody yeah i'm just trying to find her here on the list just one sec i should have done that ahead of time here okay so there's stress there you right? go. <laughs> <laughs> And it's St. Catharines. There you go. St. Yes. Catharines. There yes. you go. Yes. Niagara. In the house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I've got a different energy than probably going on than my dear friend Candy because she said she doesn't live in a chronic stress space. And they're the reason I don't live in a chronic stress space. Because, um, but that this is really good. I'm really glad to be here. And I missed a little bit of what Lori was saying, but I've journeyed so much of this, right? Because I was, but I was checking my unmute. But I want to just jump, I'll share my story, but I want to jump into something really practical because we are all building a business, right? So I want to, as much as our beautiful, passionate, foundational stories are there, we're building a business. And so what really caught me, I'm always taking notes when Candy and Lori, well, with Lori, it's usually some kind of redneck singing that I quite enjoy, but, <laughs> no, it's true. but scribbling notes. And so just stop for a minute. These women have become precious in my life and in my journey. They have become a part of my peace process, quite literally. And, and I'll tell you why, because I think it's one of your go-tos with the peace project, but at, at all. But did you hear this when she said it? When, when, you when you hear a friend saying something like being with family, not being in conflict, not feeling torn apart, not in tears, whatever the stressors are, those are the things that fuel, are designed to fuel and have always fueled our business. This is just another expression of it. And I love too. I love a pull from candies too, because I'm always learning and listening and that we're dealing with a default. Like one, I'm jumping kind of forward in my story a bit, but one of the things that I said this weekend, so just, I will pause for a minute. I've been with Vox since 2016, the fall, but I'm also now an office administrator and I do live a chronically stressful experience. Like it is off the charts. So when Jay said, and the sleeve has been a game changer for me. But when the patches were coming, I thought, 
I need to try those. I need to try them individually. And I need that peace patch on 24 seven. I could feel that need for it. But we put, I, but I live, I do live in chronic stress. And so like my daughter said this morning, Candy got this rather entertaining phone call barely after she'd woken up this morning. I don't often do this, but we got in, I got into work. I'm an office admin. There was a voicemail from a person who wasn't even a customer, didn't leave their, leave their name, didn't leave their address, was telling us we should be on medication. She was going to call the police, all of this stuff. And my daughter who works in the office with me just said, you can tell it's been a rather crazy day at 9 a.m. when mom is pacing and talking loudly in the other room just to vent. So we have <laughs> so we have different reasons, but one of the things, but but who, what are you making do with? What are you settling for in terms of levels of peace or stress? And in terms of the practical piece of building a business, like just what are your friends dealing with? What are they saying they can handle? What are they okay with? And and it shouldn't be okay. And as a side part kind of piece, like I just said, I will put on a patch every single morning to deal with my workplace because it could undo me. I, I, I can live very close to the edges emotionally. Um, but I was home on a Saturday and I thought I'm home and I, I just didn't put a fresh one on and I'm partway through the day. And I just thought, why do we do this? Why do we only do things to handle the intensity and not allow peace? And so I think that it's really, uh, the invitation is for your friends, but also in your own sharing. How often when you're sharing, even if you're not sharing about the peace patch, are you carrying your own anxiety, your own people pleasing, your own things? And people pick up on those things. Like there really are some fascinating things that we're learning from um, Dr. Ricky Smith and others that are just really about how foundational and how overarching peace really is in the midst of it. But so my own story to just kind of jump to that for a little bit was, so peace, I knew I wanted to try the peace patch. I could tell that. But peace has also been a practice in my life. Like I have, ch I choose peace. I have chosen and I choose it again. I said lots of opportunities to practice, but I choose it. That's part of who I am, but that's not always easy. So when I first started trying the peace patch and when I had my brain mapping done, it actually like my, you can probably tell by the speed I'm talking right now after a long day is that my brain moves quite quickly, almost frighteningly quickly sometimes for myself. and one of the things that we that I've come to recognize in putting on the peace patch, and I'm sure some of you experienced of this too, is that anxiety is exhausting. Like coming out of the past two years even, but regardless, anxiety is, anxiety is exhausting, but it's not always optional, right? Sometimes it's just their worry. And I wanna, I felt like when I said this, I wanna share this to someone, anxiety isn't always optional. Worry is, we can shame ourselves for our anxiety. The anxiety is a different space than worry. Worry is what we deal with the anxiety that comes. So what if we can do something to help address the physiological, the anxiety, so that then we can deal with the worry that is much more choice um, based. So the sleeve was a game changer for me. I've been experimenting with each of them. Um, I don't want to forget my practical piece, but I've been going fast, but I will share my story. So, uh, so anxiety has been a whole thing, but then when I started wearing the peace patch to give you any kind of picture of how my brain works um, is if you can imagine a flow chart, I've said peace does this, peace brings settling to me, not just a calm, but a settling. So if you can visually create a flow chart over my head or imagine over your head and think about it eight layers deep, like, like if there's A, there's B, C, D, F, G, Putting on the peace patch literally was this slowing, positive kind of slowing that brought it down to about three layers deep, right? So, it, and that is the thing that is the, the busy thinking that is not, that is not anxiety, but it is problem solving and always on the go. So I actually texted. So one of the things on a practical level and this, thank you, jumping back to within it, a practical level is put on the peace patch, find a peace patch partner 
So whether it's you, whether you're encouraging a customer, come on, do it in partners. Because what did Candy say? Um, new things might not be safe. Well, if it's not feeling safe, this is a good place to bring a peace patch partner. It's a good place to invite your customer to use the brand champion, to bring someone alongside, give this to me for a month, give this, let's do this for two months. Let's give ourselves, let's get through Christmas was kind of part of Candy's first thing, but the doing it together. And then the practical piece, which is who these ladies were, is find that peace patch buddy partner to be messaging to like my texts, our texts are just my tracking record because I don't even have time to go home and journal, but the stories and the pieces that come. So when I started, so it was one thing to see the, that mental slowing happening. That was really significant for me. Uh, Dr. Sill gave me a great example one time. She says like, you know, sometimes you're walking, it's like you come to an intersection if you're dealing with anxiety or just high activity in your brain. And you know, most people look left and right when they come to a stoplight to make sure that they're safe. But some people are like watching for, you know, snipers on the roof and helicopters <laughs> coming in and a wolf walking down the, the, I am that, I am, I am the wolf walking down the street, right? So if you can imagine that intensity, what I found, I thought of that analogy again, when I had the peace patch on, because I thought, you know what, that's not a wolf. That's a German shepherd on the leash going for a walk with its owner, right? So we can hyper overdrive. So how do we begin to cope with our life, with our family conversations? Peace is still, still a choice. Candy had those peace moments in there. Um, but, and I had a very specific situation where the peace patch was so different in a boundary setting situation that had to happen, but, I, but, the emotional and the physical, the emotional and the mental have been significant. But what was really significant, what for me, because I loved the sleeve so much, I felt the calming with the sleeve was the marked improvement physiologically. So I actually feel my heart rate slower. I said, I have um, a lifting of muscular tension I didn't even know that I had, including ones I did. So, so I have recognized that I carry tension across here. I didn't even know that. I knew I carried it here. I know I carry it down my back. But when I started wearing the peace patch, it was like something opened across here too. So that calming of my heart rate, the, the lifting of that tension. And believe it or not, from the speed that I'm speaking, I actually speak slower in stressful situations. So I'm talking quickly perhaps. So you, I always say you can wave your hand, but to slow me down, but that, that physiological change in along with the rest of it, it, it has been amazing. And I think my first text was to Candy, honestly was, do people actually feel like this? Like is, like, <laughs> like, like is, is this actually a thing? And so I recognize that I'm, high sensory I'm very high sensory so I when I see the conversations about especially kids that are high sensory and sounds or things those things that calming that's where peace comes the peace patch comes into it for me dealing with those stimulus that are around me I love love the flow the flow is a game changer as well but that dealing with the external I used to say with the sleeve I drive safer you know, I think clear and I like people more. Well, the peace patch is probably the like people more. And frankly, uh, customers are probably thankful for that. So yeah, the peace patch, the invitation to experience and find a partner and build your business from a place of peace because I loved coming into this company. I love the science. I love the stories. But the selling point was the authenticity. And there's lots of ways to build this business. But if you are not building it from a place of peace, whatever that means in your world, then that will come across. And like Candy said, our world needs a flip, needs more peace than we've got. So little piece of plastic. It's one piece of peace, but it's a really pretty important one, in my opinion. So there you go. And I'm unmuted. So now you can mute me again. So I'll stop talking. <laughs> The reality is we have to pause and consider the undercurrent of the impact of stress in our lives because it eats away at our health and wellness. We're full of cortisol when we're stressed and it 
like you said, Candy, impacts our thinking, our cognition, and our o- overall physical well being. Our guts aren't healthy if we're in chronic stress. And if we can alleviate some of that load with this beautiful little blue piece of plastic, then I'm all in because I'm nicer to be around with the peace patch. And, and you know Frank, think... go ahead. Sorry, Lori, sorry about that. You know what I think is really interesting about the peace patch and, and stress is, and, and for me personally, like I don't really know how to measure stress. Do you know what I mean? Like I know that, that stress is there, but I don't know whether my stress load is high or low because I really don't really know how to determine what is stressful and what is not stressful. So I think what's really interesting, and, and it's kind of like our technology, uh, you know, in a broader scope in an umbrella, is that everybody thinks they're at their best in their life, physically and mentally, because they've either been told that that's the way you're going to be at that age or, you know, this is what you're going to deal with as you get older or whatever. And they don't know until they try something uh, that, that that's in our scope of technologies. And so the same thing with stress for me, and I'm going to jump on this peace project. I got to tell you, I haven't, been, I haven't worn the peace patch, but it's one that is lined up because my package just arrived today. So I will be jumping on the peace patch uh, project for, for 30 days. But I want to see if I'm a calmer person. I want to see if I'm, you know, um, able to deal with situations um, that come up that you don't realize are even stressful. You know, like that person cutting you off instead of, Mm -hmm. you know, yelling at them or thinking you want to kill them. um, Do you wish them a nice day? (laughs) You know what I mean? Um, Do you say thanks for cutting me off? That was really enjoyable or something, (laughs) you know, like, uh, so I think with our technology and I invite everybody to, to join us to join the women on this, because I think it's a, a great initiative. I think it's a, a great thing to be able to identify, um, you know, what levels of stress we're at, because now we can compare it. If we take those 30 days and if you don't have time to necessarily journal, um, you know, uh, talk to a friend that's Tracy said, have a teammate, have a, have a friend that says, let's do this together and see if we're, if we both feel that we're better in the world. And I think that it's certainly true when I believe it as just straight logic that I think people are way more effective and way more enjoyable to be around when they're on a holiday in in Barbados or in the Dominican or on the beach than they are if they're in a traffic jam, uh, you know, on the 400 series highways. So I think it just makes sense to say, hey, let's try this and see whether we can put ourselves on the beach, even if we're in the traffic jam. Do you know what I mean? And so consequently, we might be more effective at how we are around people um, and be able to um, get that people, that person saying, why is he so excited? Why is he so happy? Why is he, why does nothing seem to fizz him or whatever? And so I tip my hat to you ladies for, you know, putting this together you guys have done this this call from time immemorial and you guys are absolutely incredible and i thank you for it tonight well back at you brother and uh we're hashtag better together so um us girls get together and we just have a coffee talk credit to um krista taylor for challenging us to do this back in the day krista's life has taken her in a little bit of a different direction but we're still in contact And, um, you know, there's, there's lots of ways to come at this and Tracy really appreciate you bringing the business component to it because, you know, it has to be practical. It can't be kumbaya all the time, but, um, Candy's, um, suggestion that we find that pause before we react viscerally, it's better for us. It's better for the people around us. And I'm talking mentally and physiologically, you know, and emotionally and, it will afford growth rather than, you know, that place of um, resistance, I'll say. So Terry, pre- Paul, appreciate it. Hey, Paul, what do you think? What do you think about this old Peace Patch project? 
Yeah, no, I, I am uh, all on board because I'm in the same boat. I, uh, like Terry was saying, I don't know how to measure, like, I know I got a ton going on, but I don't know, you just sometimes think, well, I don't really need that patch. Just, you know, I got my socks on, I got my defend on, but I kind of look back at defend and I, I had my same reservations and I was like, well, wait a second, you know, Jay, you trust him. He's all the other ones work, but until I saw those live blood analysis and things like that, it really put it in perspective. Like, Oh my God, I need to have this on every day. Like what I just witnessed happened. I think it was like two and a half laters laugh two and a half hours later, we pricked the people's fingers. Then they wore the defend patch. Then we saw the, the crazy difference. Now I'm like, Oh my gosh, I got to have that on every day. That's like a staple where the piece one, um, I think back to the printing days and I think Terry would have just paid for my subscription for it. Um, if it actually did calm me down, cause I can snap and, and go offside and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I, yeah, I can get out of, you know, I can, you know, you yell at your girls or something because they did something wrong and you feel bad because you did. And, and it's like, Hey, yeah, why don't I give this a 30 day go and see how, and, and those that are going to observe me, <laughs> and say <laughs> hey you've been pretty what, what's going on mellow or you, know? <laughs> or do you got a patch on you know so no i uh i agree <laughs> i'm on board and uh we do appreciate you guys and thanks for jumping on here and you know when other people come on and we're at a round table like this just hearing all your guys experiences is what's making me say hey i should be trying that and that's really what this business is all about and how it's built is i trust you guys so obviously I, I I'm going to like experiment and see and, and do it with you guys as well so um, can I just say that's it. really can I just say that's really really valuable but like hearing both of you guys because we need to evaluate how we have or lack peace and quite frankly men and women may come at that differently right like mm. the observations like really like really to, I mean, to you guys, but to anyone like observe, I see Norm there too. I don't know, Norm, you're going to put on a patch, but, but observe, right? Because we are all, we all handle stress. We all handle stress in different ways. And so the more, that's the whole heart behind Candy's piece is gather those perspectives, gather what other people are saying, but it won't always look like it looks like for me, but as you begin to name it for you, Paul or Terry or whoever, then it helps someone else name it. And honestly, mm -hmm. um, as a mother of boys, this is an important piece. This is an important piece of the bustle for our young men too. We live in a stressful world and men's mental health is as challenged and not always as honored um, oh, I that, as I others that. and i think that's really really valuable so yeah that's a great point tracy and i think the biggest thing is with men we we don't men are different than you you ladies are so nurturing and so caring and guys don't want to ever see, show weakness a lot of times right they don't want to show that they're coming from a position of vulnerability they, yes they, you know a lot of times you know i know i've re reacted before and i'm like the only reason I react that way is because I'm so freaking stressed out and I'm thinking, well, if I wasn't that stressed out, I wouldn't mm. react that way. And, you know, I've always said you get more with honey than you do with vinegar. And so if we could all get to the place where we're honey um, as opposed to vinegar, um, then I think all of us will, will, uh, will be in a better place for sure. I see Shanda um, has her hand up, Paul. Shanda Whitefoot. You should get a request to unmute yourself. There you go. She's on. She's on. Yeah. Hi, Janet. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Um, I have been part of the peace project, and I was one who I'm wearing all the other patches, so I didn't think so much to wear that because I had my sleeve. I will just say it has brought the sleeve to a whole new level. Um. And we can't always get everyone around us to put on a patch on. And I've noticed, you know, getting snapped at by other people. I then, instead of just shutting down or snapping back, I can be the sound of reason to say, hey, we didn't need to say it that way. So I've been able to calm my husband down to not be such an a-hole. And then I don't get so upset with my children when they haven't listened for the 600th time. Life is too short. 
and we don't get those moments back. Yeah. And yeah, we can apologize, but if we can just put on a patch and avoid the situation, it's so much easier. And and another area of my life, it helped me be calm when my mom had to have heart surgery and things weren't happening how we wanted them to. And so it has made a huge difference in ways that I never even thought about. Because when I thought about stress, I wasn't thinking about it like that because I was just handling it like what Candy said. And it has been a huge eye opener. And the sleeve is amazing. It does a, It's amazing, but this is definitely a whole new level. And if you're a crabby but sometimes you really want to wear this patch. <laughs> Just try it. It's, it's worth it. It's a game changer. It is. It is. Terry, I'd just like to mention to you, <clears throat> I fully understand and appreciate as the mom of boys and the, the wife of a husband who um, only just in the recent years learned how to feel his feelings. And boy, did that one turn around on me in a, in a big way when he was having a moment and I'm going, why, why, why do you have to be like that? He said, I thought you wanted me to feel my feelings. And I thought, oh man, what have I started here? Yes, dear, I do. I want you to feel your feelings because we do, we need to feel them, but we don't need them to control us in a way that is, you know, will delete from our life. So when you say, Terry, that you can't really assess your stress, you're not sure, like you just handle it. And I see what happens in men who do this and your shoulders get heavy and they start to ache. And I can see the physical signs of the stress <clears throat> in the men who are, who are dealing with so much and not just sure, sure quite what to do with it. But I can tell you that if you can't see it, I know the people who love and care about you can. So that's why I always encourage people. And this is harder for men to do, um, but it can be done. We, we, want this was almost like let's let's get this so we can can get to get to our guys because we want you as well as you can possibly be and I can guarantee you that when people come around to deal with you on a business level if you're the happy as you say Terry the I think the guy with honey you know people want to hang around that kind of energy they're just drawn to you if you're crabby and short and abrupt and brusque, you guys have all had the boss and maybe you've been the boss The walks in the door and the whole office recognizes he's in a mood. Like, what do you do? You scatter. How productive and how effective can our teams be if we're that person? So, you know, it's, it's just, like guys, we're so, so very glad to have you aboard and you're gonna reach people that, that we wouldn't have been able to. And this is definitely a team effort. So thank you all for, for, for listening and being here. Yes, and thank you so much, guys. Uh, <clears throat> wow, um, very powerful call. You know, make sure that we, you know, share this with our teams. Uh, this is super important. Um, you know, like you say, plus, you know, remember guys, you can't go out and sell something that you haven't used and tested at the end of the day either. How could you, you know, you're not going to come out as genuine, like, oh yeah, that peace patch is, uh, yeah, it's great. Um, they're going to look great and see right through that. So be genuine, experience it, you know, maybe say, look, I'm not that stressed and I used it. I'm not really sure, but Hey, why don't you try it? I mean, honesty is better than, you know, just pretending that everything works and, um, we know it doesn't work for everybody and you know uh, well we know certain things but they're hard to explain sometimes like with the balance and all that stuff but yeah I mean in keeping with the hour too guys just you know thanks for coming here every week um, you know we're 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 just we're, we're building we got super exciting things coming we got the event in January um, that's just basically going to be the you know the launch pad for other events across North America and uh the uk hopefully and, and then you know uh, we, we have just so much potential each patch could be a million dollar business um so we have a lot of work to do and you know uh you know coming here each week is beneficial we're going to make it exciting and different and not the same old thing and you know i'm seeing that now 
And it's exciting for when you're doing the calls because, you know, it's something new and different. And, you know, yeah, we have to have duplication, but at the end of the day, we need this uh, humanity and realism to be, you know, uh, injected and not taken away. It's not just about the dollar bill. Um, uh, the dollar bills always follow. Um, so we just have to do our job of sharing and the rest will follow behind. I, I absolutely guarantee that. So, yeah. Uh, and I think it's important, Paul, that everybody follows the U plus three, then plus three from the business perspective. I mean, it's a very, very basic, simple um, building block. And we're, we got some things coming up that Paul and I are working on to make it really easy to actually show you the dollar amounts. Um, for when you build U plus three and you get three, those three and help them get their three, show you the exact dollar amount. And so, and your bonuses and anything that you can go after, we're going to have that document uh, for you. We're working hard on uh, making sure the numbers are correct. And it's a simple building block. We, we want everybody to be able to just duplicate and have your team. And really when you're building uh, a distribution company, and that's what we're building, each, each and every one of us is building a distribution company uh, of, of passion, of hope, of joy through our technology, it's duplication and it's thousands and thousands of teammates and customers all utilizing our products every month. And whether you're switching up the patches and if you do that and duplicate it through the simple um, building block of U plus three, them plus three, and you duplicate that and get your teams duplicating, you will hit numbers um, that you didn't even think you was possible. So um, we will have that. We're working hard for you guys as well behind the scenes to, to come up with some good stuff. That's going to be, um, um, there's some exciting things coming at the event in January. And uh, if any of you on this call are in an area that you can't make it to the event, we understand sometimes it's too far to drive and so on. But if you want to hold an event in your area, I know for a fact that you get 100 to 200 people in a room we can help you with it. Uh, I know that uh, Jay and uh, the people he wants there will show up and present and help you um, uh, build and create a successful event for sure. So take it away, Paul. Yeah, and I just wanted to uh, update. I, I had made a post about the event saying that it was gold, silver, and bronze packs being given away at this event. It's actually super patch business builder kits that will be given away. So it's not a level, it's like, here's your kit kind of thing. So um, that's awesome to know that that's what, we just sort of had a misunderstanding there. So I just wanted to clarify that, but no other than that, um, again, thanks everybody for showing up tonight and I'll uh, try to unmute everybody here. Oh, and one more thing next week, yeah. I'm sure some of you people on here are familiar with our first ever Vox Life associate, the amazing and wonderful Kevin Duguay. Yeah. He's gonna end our, uh, 2022 training off next week on uh, the 19th uh, and he will bring you some nuggets that will be awesome for sharing this technology next week so I hope you can all get on the call invite your friends we're opening this call to friends so people that are interested and as Candy said she had some friends on the call tonight and some interested people so um, keep that in mind we want to keep it open and show people the culture that we have here show people um, the um, true joy that we all have in sharing and helping other people in in, in our box life journeys now super patch. everybody should have got a request to unmute themselves i'm sure so thank thanks, you girls. thank you bye. 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 thank you thank you Thanks, great guys. great discussion good job everybody discussion. that bet. was brilliant girls thank you so much our pleasure thank you good night good night Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.